Welcome in everybody to Super Bowl 60, where a new champion will be crowned. Who will be hosting up the Lombardi this year? Will it be Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens? Or Josh Rosen and the Los Angeles Rams will be finding out here soon. Here is a look at how these two teams got here. We went 14-3 in the regular season, won the NFC West, are the number one seed out of the NFC. In the postseason, we have defeated the Commanders and Eagles by a combined score of 46-16. Our defense has been on fire. Over our last four games, we have allowed just one touchdown. The Ravens, they had a 13-4 year, won the AFC North, are the number two seed out of the AFC. They had a tough start to their season losing their first three games. But since then, if you include the playoffs, the Ravens have gone 16-1 and, and have been the best team in the NFL. In the postseason, the Ravens have beaten the Raiders, Bills, and Chiefs to make it to Super Bowl 60. And that is how we have the matchup that we do between these two great teams. Speaking of great, Lamar Jackson has had a great career. One of the few things he has not done in it is win a Super Bowl, and he is trying to change that. He had a fantastic season, accounting for 38 touchdowns, over 4,000 yards, and was very efficient doing so. He averaged over 5 yards per run, had a 74% completion percentage, had just 3 total turnovers, and he will be a problem for our defense. Sure, the Ravens don't have the greatest supporting cast around him, but A.J. Dillon isn't terrible. You have some alright receivers in Odell, Rashad Bateman, and then Zay Flowers. And Mark Andrews at tight end. He's really good. Our defense, it'll have its work cut out for it. Especially against the Ravens' rush offense. It ranks number one in the NFL. And they are fourth in points per game scored. And I think the key to our defense is the play of our middle linebackers. We'll need them to not only shut down the ground game and Lamar and his scrambling ability, but to cover Mark Andrews, one of the better tight ends in the NFL. The Ravens' defense... It is led by Roquan Smith, who can play sideline to sideline with his great speed. He's very good in coverage, and he reflects what the defense is all about. The Ravens' defense is third in points per game allowed, third against the pass, and 13th against the run. So just really good across the board. They also have some other good playmakers on defense. It's not just Roquan Smith. Our offense is without Antonio Gibson, who has a broken collarbone. He Suffered in the win over the Eagles in the NFC Championship game. Montel Rodriguez, he will be starting for us at running back. And the rookie had a stretch during the regular season where he played very well. But this Ravens defense is really good. And I think we will need Josh Rosen and our pass offense to make a lot of plays. He has completely flipped his career around. And is now within striking distance and a chance here to win a Super Bowl and completely change the narrative of his career if he hasn't already done so. Let's go ahead and find out which of these two teams will be winning Super Bowl 60 and will be picking up their third Super Bowl victory in their franchise's history. The Rams will begin the game on offense. Allen is going to have the ball faked to him. It'll be a handoff to Rodriguez, who will juke past Williams and be tackled from behind. It's a gain of 16. The player to make the tackle, it was Sherrod Hazelwood who is a former college teammate of Monty Culliver's at Kansas State they played together. Again and nine for Cooper Cup on the left side. Second and one. Rodriguez has another first down and is going to go down in plus territory at the Baltimore 41. Devin Jenkins, the Rams starting right tackle, he will exit the game with a dislocated shoulder and he will not be able to return to this one. So now in the game at right tackle, it is the super utility veteran Joseph Noteboom. Rodriguez to his left on the toss has no chance. It's a loss of five. Third and ten. The Ravens only rush three. Rosen has a man open. It is Cooper Cup. The Super Bowl 56 MVP will make the catch. His second of the game. And he's going to keep this drive going. Rosen going right back to the air. He's going to check it down to Rodriguez. He's got room to run. He'll power his way across the goal line for a touchdown. The first of Super Bowl 60. And the Rams are able to march right down the field and take an early 7-0 lead. The Baltimore offense with their first chance out there. A.J. Dillon, he's going to rumble to his right. Steve Farm, Jordan Fuller, and be spun out of bounds by Lonnie Culliver with a gain of 18. 
the six foot, 247 pound running back out of Boston College will get another carry. And this time he's not going very far, only a gain of three. Third and seven. Lamar and the Ravens trying to tie us up. They'll go down the field to Rashad Bateman, and he's going to hang on, pick it up 20 yards on the first completion of the day for Lamar Jackson. Jackson moving to his right, going down the field again. This time to A.J. Dillon. He is going to burn Byron Young on a wheel route. It'll be a touchdown, and the Ravens will answer right back and tie us off at seven. Under seven minutes to go in the first quarter. Rosen and the Rams trying to retake the lead. It'll be cup underneath. He'll get upfield and get a first down. And that'll make Josh Rosen 5-5 five of five with three of his completions going to Cooper Cup. Rodriguez to his left gets a block from Cooper Cup and is past midfield again. Going down to the Baltimore 44. It's been a great start to the day for both offenses. Rosen running at a time. is going to lob the ball deep down the field for Rodriguez who is wide open but he's going to be missed. Rosen just overthrew him. It could have been a walk-in touchdown. Third and 10. Rosen is going to step up and take off and run for the first down. And he couldn't get down in time. He's going to cough the ball up trying to slide. And the Ravens are going to recover and take over at their own 25. A mistake from Josh Rosen and the Rams offense. As the Baltimore Ravens with a chance to take the lead. A.J. Dillon, after breaking a few tackles, will go down with a gain of 10 at the 35. The Ravens going to... The pistol formation, it'll be Lamar keeping it on a read option. He's got a first down, it's across midfield. Only one man to beat. Will Jason Taylor with a second catch him? He will not. A long touchdown run for Lamar Jackson. The explosive dynamic quarterback has given the Ravens the lead. 14 to seven, the Rams trailing. After the turnover from Josh Rosen, they'll hand it off here to Rodriguez, a gain of four. Third and six, the Ravens will send a blitz. It's not picked up very well. Rosen to his right as Michael Kirkpatrick open, and he's going to go down with a first down at the 36. One or two minutes to go in the first quarter. More pressure on Rosen. He'll go underneath Anthony Allen, who will pick up another first down and go down the 48. The first quarter winding down under 40 seconds to go in it. It's a pass on the right side to Cup, who will tiptoe down the sideline and be shoved out of bounds at the Baltimore 37. The Rams going out of 12 personnel. A fake to Rodriguez. Rosen taking a shot to the end zone for Anthony Allen, and he'll drop it into him. A perfect throw from Josh Rosen. His second touchdown pass of the day, and the Rams will tie us all up at 14. We have a back and forth game going on so far. Dylan taking the handoff and breaking away from Demarcus Lawrence. He'll throw off Kelvin Joseph. Dylan. Still going. Now he's going to be caught by Caver and go down at 16. Remember this Rams defense? They came into the game having only allowed one touchdown over the last four games played. Today, they've given up two and we're barely into the second quarter. Third and seven. Jackson under pressure and he can't get away. He'll be sacked by the blitzer, Jordan Fuller. And on fourth and 15, the Ravens will bring on their Hall of Fame kicker, Justin Tucker. And he's going to drill the kick, giving the Ravens the lead again. So a three-point deficit for the Rams in the second quarter. Rodriguez up the middle. He's going to be slammed to the ground by Roquan Smith. Just a gain of two. Third and seven. The Ravens are only going to send three. Rosen will check it down to Barden, and that will get a first down. As Barden is going to be pushed ahead, going down just shy of the 40. Now Ben Portis in the game at quarterback. He is going to keep it on a read option, and he's got room to run, taking it into Baltimore territory. The backup quarterback for L.A. is going to go down at the Ravens' 30-yard line. So they're getting everybody involved. Seven minutes to go in the half. Rosen taking a chance to the end zone for Allen, and he's going to drop it into him again. A beautiful throw from Josh Rosen. The third touchdown pass from him in this first half, and the second touchdown catch for Anthony Allen. And the Rams are back out in front. 21 to 17. The Ravens trailing and trying to make it their lead again. It'll be Mark Andrews making the catch and going down near the 45 yard line. Third and 10. Jackson firing to his left and he's nearly picked off. It was in the hands of Kelvin Joseph, but he just couldn't make the play. The Rams with a chance to extend their lead. Rodriguez met by Smith up the middle and down goes Rodriguez with a gain of five. Third down. 
Tremaine Bard in the back, and they're going to dial up a screen for him, but Rosen has no time, and the ball is out. Joseph Noteboom is going to dive on it. A good hustle play from him to at least give the Rams a chance to put the ball away. The Ravens do take over in LA territory. Jackson under pressure, and he's going to be sacked again, this time by Devin White. It's only a loss of three. Second at 13. It's a handoff to A.J. Dillon, and he's going to make third down a lot more manageable as he's up to the 37. Third and five. Jackson is going to fire to his left, and Rashad Bateman will make the catch, hanging on through a hit from Kelvin Joseph. Now at the 13-yard line, Jackson is going to have his pass batted down at the line of scrimmage by the Defensive Rookie of the Year in the NFC in Emmett Spearman. Third down. Jackson to the end zone for Andrews, and he'll make the catch. A great throw from Lamar Jackson, and the Ravens will retake the lead in this back-and-forth first half. The Rams have a chance, though, to take it back. Rosen hitting Cooper Cup underneath. He'll be tackled by Roquan Smith with a gain of nine. Now second and one with a minute 30 to go in the half. Rosen is going to take a chance down the field for Allen, and he'll make the catch. Going out of bounds in plus territory. Allen has had a great first half. And really, everybody on the Rams offense has. Rosen lobbing down the field for Cooper Cup. And he's going to go out of bounds at the 10. And that'll make it pretty much goal to go for the Rams. Minute 12 to go. Second and goal. It'll be Rodriguez running into Roquan Smith. And he's only able to muster a yard on the carry. Third and goal with under 30 seconds to go. Rosen. To the end zone for Kirkpatrick, and he'll lay out and make the grab. It is a touchdown for the rookie tight end out of Florida, and the Rams will retake the lead. And we will head into halftime of Super Bowl 60 in this very high-scoring first half with the Rams on top of the Ravens, 28-24. We'll see what happens in the second half. The story of the first half of Super Bowl 60 was the play of both offenses. It was an offensive explosion. Rose and he threw four touchdowns, had 260 yards through the air, and was very efficient with a 76% completion percentage. You can't really do too much better than that in a first half if you're a quarterback. But Lamar Jackson, he was not outdone. He had a 66-yard touchdown run and also threw two touchdowns, which is why we have such a high-scoring game. These quarterbacks are both playing really well. The question I have in the second half is, will either defense step up or are we just going to have more of the same? Odell has a gain of eight to get us started in the third quarter. Dylan on third down is going to run for the first down and go down up past the 40 at the 42. With that run, A.J. Dillon is now over 100 yards on the ground. Jackson to his right, he hits Zay Flowers, who's going to be pushed ahead by Avante Maddox, and Flowers will take the speed boost from the push all the way into the end zone. A long touchdown for Lamar Jackson and Zay Flowers, and the Ravens offense is able to pick up right where they left off. A 31-28 lead for Baltimore here in the third quarter as Rodriguez will begin the second half of the LA offense with a short gain. Third down. It's a pass into traffic for Cooper Cup. He'll hang on despite a big hit and get a first down. Now at 36. Rosen to his right for Mike Williams and he'll make the catch going down at the 46 to make a third and short. Third and two. It is a handoff to Rodriguez, who is met and goes down right away, and they will say he did not get enough yardage for a first down. The Rams are going to keep their offense out there on fourth and inches, and they will go for it. It's a handoff to Rodriguez, who bounces it outside. He's got the first down and more. Behind the Baltimore defense, he is gone. A 52-yard touchdown run from the rookie running back out of SMU, and the Rams' offense will not be outdone. They're going to answer back and take the lead. A turf toe injury for Brian Sandridge is going to keep him out the rest of the game. So Antonio Maffi will be in, which means the Rams now have two backup offensive linemen out there. But we're on defense. We'll have to worry about that later because our defense is just getting gashed. Zay Flowers making a play down the field. And to add insult to injury, they're going to call Jason Taylor the second for a face mask penalty. So the Ravens already at the LA 38. Dylan. Taking the handoff and shutting a defender. And Devin White is only going to be a gain of one. Third and seven. The Rams are going to send the house. Pressure is going to get there in time. It'll be Byron Young getting the sack. His first of the game. And on fourth and 14, the Ravens are on the edge of field goal range, but 
They have probably the best kicker of all time in Justin Tucker. And he's going to make the kick. Of course he will. And the Ravens are going to make it a one-point game. 35-34, to 34, getting late in the third quarter. Barden is met by Roquan Smith and Hamilton. And he's down at the 27. On a third down, Rodriguez back in the game. Rosen under pressure, and he can't get a throw off in time. He's going to be sacked, and the Rams are going to end up going three and out. The Ravens have a chance to take the lead. Jackson down the field for Flowers, and he'll make the catch behind Kelvin Joseph and go down across midfield. Now in the fourth quarter, Jackson is going to spin to his left, fire to his right for Zay Flowers, who will make another catch and go down at the LA 34. Jackson is putting on a show with some of these throws he's making. Here he is firing to his right for Rashad Bateman. And again, Kelvin Joseph is going to give up another reception. The Ravens now at the 21. It's a fake to Dylan. Jackson underneath is going to hit his number two tight end, Charlie Saunders, who is now in his second year out of Louisville. And there was an injury to Emmett Spearman, but he should be able to return to this one. Third down. A pass to the end zone is going to be deflected away by Kelvin Joseph. He'll save the touchdown, and the Ravens are going to end up winding up for a field goal. And, of course, Tucker will make it, and the Ravens will take the lead. The Rams now find themselves trailing in the fourth quarter. Rosen, he'll go up top. He's got a man wide open at Kirkpatrick, but he misses him. That's the second time he has had a man wide open behind the Baltimore defense and missed him. Third down. It'll be a check down to Rodriguez. He's fighting, and he can't get the first down. And the Rams will go three and out. It was just too far back in their own territory to go for it there. Jackson. And the Ravens a chance to extend their lead. He's going to scramble to his right. Juke past the defender. And the ball is knocked out. The Rams are going to recover and take over in Baltimore territory. Jackson just tried doing a bit too much there. He probably should have slid. So LA a chance to take the lead. Rodriguez to his left. He runs by Roquan Smith. That is not an easy thing to do. And Rodriguez is up to 130 yards on the ground. From the 31. Back to Rodriguez who bounces it to his left. And he will not get away from Roquan this time. It's still going to be a gain of nine though. Second it's short. Rams out of 12 personnel. Rosen. To his right, he's going to throw that way. And Cooper Couple out and make the grab. Going down at the five, and that'll make it goal to go. First and goal. They'll put it in the hands of Montel Rodriguez, and he's not going very far. They'll go down at the five as Omenehu is injured. Second and goal. Rosen trying to throw. He'll fire to the end zone for Kirkpatrick. And Kyle Hamilton will save a touchdown. Third and goal. Rosen has time. It's running out, though. He's now under heavy pressure. He'll make a spinning throw, and it's going to be incomplete. He tried to make something happen, but he just couldn't make it happen. So Tanner Brown on fourth and goal from the five will kick a field goal, and he's going to make it. And the Rams will take the lead back. A one-point game in the fourth quarter of Super Bowl 60. Here is Kobe Turner sacking Lamar Jackson. A loss is seven. Second and 17. A toss right side to Dillon, and he can't get away from Benji Shepard. The rookie edge rusher is there to make the play. Third down. The Ravens going empty. Jackson firing over the middle, and it's going to be completed to Odell. Kelvin Joseph is going to get the big play on third down, and the Ravens will keep their drive going. Under 420 to go. Jackson on the move into traffic. Bateman will make the catch, and Kelvin Joseph again is going to give up another catch. The Ravens in L.A. territory. Jackson spinning to his left. He is going to scramble, it looks like, and he will. He'll bounce off Alani Culliver, and he's going to drag a few L.A. defenders going down at the 15. And it'll take us under three minutes to go in the fourth. Now down to 230. Dylan to his right. He's going to be brought down by Justice Branch in the backfield. A loss of one. Down to two minutes to go in the fourth of Super Bowl 60. Jackson underneath to Odell. He'll hang on and go down at the seven. And now will take us to third down. A big third and three. A.J. Dillon up the middle. He's got a walk-in touchdown. And the Baltimore Ravens have taken the lead here late in the fourth quarter of Super Bowl 60. It looks like they will go for two to try and make it a seven-point lead. Jackson is running out of time, and he can't get a throw off. 
He is going to be sacked by Emmett Spearman and Byron Young, and they'll fail the two-point conversion, so they'll stay a five-point lead. Josh Rosen and the Rams, the pressure is on them. Can they get down the field and score a touchdown? They have a minute 34 and all their timeouts to try and make it happen. They'll start their own 25. Rosen has time. He's going to lob deep down the field for Kirkpatrick. It is going to be incomplete. There is a flag on the play, though. Let's see what it is. They will call pass interference on the defense on Kyle Hamilton. And then there'll be a 32-yard penalty putting the Rams across midfield. Here's another look at it. There was some contact and the ball was in the air, but was it enough for pass interference? I guess the refs thought so. First and 10. A screen left side to Williams. He'll spin ahead and is still going. And eventually will be caught and go down at the 20. So the Rams are now in the red zone with a minute 20 to go in the fourth quarter. And they have all their timeouts. They can take their time. Rodriguez cutting this back inside and he's going down at the 17. Only a gain of three. Down to 38 seconds to go. Rosen standing tall. Now extending the play. He's got nowhere to throw the ball. He'll just have to throw the ball away. And then I'll bring up a big third and seven. Who will Josh Rosen and the Rams look to on this third down? He is going to set up a screen and dump it off to Rodriguez, who will juke past Roquan Smith and fight through a few Ravens defenders, taking it into the end zone. It's a touchdown for Montel Rodriguez, his third of the game. And the Rams have taken the lead late in the fourth quarter of Super Bowl 60. The question is, will it be enough? They will go for two to try and make it a field goal game. Rosen has a man wide open in Tremaine Barton, and the Rams will complete the two-point conversion and make it 46 to 43. The pressure is now all on the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. They have 24 seconds to try and get into field goal range to give Justin Tucker a chance to force over at some with a field goal. Jackson is going to extend the play, lob across his body in the field, and throw an interception. It gets picked off by Nolan Walker. And the rookie quarterback is going to seal this Super Bowl victory for the Rams, who win an absolute thriller. A high-scoring win here for the Rams in Super Bowl 60 as they defeat the Ravens 46-43. It was a long season for both teams. The Ravens, they put themselves in a hole starting the year 0-3 and dug themselves out of it, making a run all the way to the Super Bowl. But they fall short. They lose their first ever Super Bowl. They were 2-2 two two before this. For the Rams, they had to deal with a lot of injuries, but they were able to overcome them and still become the number one seed in the NFC and then run through a couple of very athletic quarterbacks in Jalen Hurts and also Lamar Jackson. And they are Super Bowl champions for the third time in their franchise's history. And it is their sixth Super Bowl appearance. Josh Rosen... He completely flipped his career narrative. Before this, he was seen as a playoff choker. We had lost our first two playoff games over the last two years. We were one and done in each of those years. But this year, not so much. He was able to get it done in the biggest game, throwing five touchdowns. And he's obviously going to end up being Super Bowl MVP with a performance that he had. But Lamar Jackson, he played great as well. And I do feel bad for him. He played his best out there. He just made a few mistakes. He fumbled the ball on a long run that gave us the ball back and momentum. And then he also threw the game ceiling interception. We had great performers besides Josh Rosen. We also got a huge performance from Montel Rodriguez. We wouldn't have been able to get the job done without him. He stepped in for Antonio Gibson. And we didn't really miss Gibson in this one. Cooper Cup and Anthony Allen, they also played extremely well. Now the offense, it may have won us the Super Bowl, but they didn't get us to the Super Bowl. That would be thanks to the defense that we got here. So we should at least acknowledge them. Sure, they didn't play very well in the Super Bowl, but they got us here. In the NFC Championship game and the divisional round, our defense, it only gave up one touchdown and 16 points. And that was at a time when our offense was sputtering. And we needed the defense to play like that. The offense, it played much better in the Super Bowl, clearly. So we didn't need our defense to go hero mode. And I would just really call this championship a complete team effort. In order to get it done, we needed everybody to make plays for us. This Super Bowl, it really reminded me 
of that famous Chiefs and Rams game. It was from either 2018 or 19. The Rams ended up winning it 54 to 51. Now, this game, it didn't have quite as many points scored, but it was a Super Bowl. So I would say we were able to top that game, but I want to hear your thoughts down below on what you thought of this crazy Super Bowl that we just ended up going through. And I would also like to hear your thoughts on what you want to see moving forward from this franchise. Do you want us to just keep going as is? I do plan on keeping this series going for at least up until the new college football game is released in, I believe, July is what EA has said. And I will be doing a series on that. And we will be keeping this going at least until then. But we may stop it in order to focus on that college football game at least until the new Madden is dropped in August. Let me hear your thoughts down below on the future of this series and the Super Bowl that we just got done playing and also what you'd want to see from us in the offseason. Thanks for watching this one, and I will see you in the next one.